week 20 of the deck of cards collab hello my friends how are you this is rachel from sweet bee paper co i cannot believe we are at week 20 isn't that crazy okay i've got two here i'm just gonna go with them dome and cook <laughs> that that is interesting not quite sure what I'm going to do with that, but I'm going to get my stuff together and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and oh my gosh, I love this card. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, glad to have you here. Make sure you check out the playlist down below for all of the other prompts. I also have them listed down in the description box. Check out the first video to see what's going on with this challenge and or collab really and um you can join anytime no pressure and like i've said in a couple videos too if you're just not feeling the prompts for that week or you don't have anything that has to do with those prompts um you can choose to do something completely different that's totally up to you or you can also check out graphics fairy for free printables um, I get printables off of there all of the time. That is always an option. But let's get into this card. Okay, so, so, so Cook and Dome. Listen, I had thought about doing like one of those, um, I think they're like bunt cakes that's kind of dome shaped. And I couldn't find anything in my stuff. Like I said last week, I've been organizing all my craft supplies my craft room everything else and it's either i know exactly where it is right now or i have no clue where it is right now okay <laughs> um and i still need to label everything but i think i was thinking about my christmas printable where i had that like um, sponge cake or bunk cake or something on it but so then i just kind of decided to forget about that <laughs> and just focus on cook and so with cook you could also go with baking which is kind of where I went with it so feel free to kind of go you know whichever way you want with cook if you want to do you know go towards like bake whatever use that however it will work for you and so I got this um craft i can't remember what she called it a bundle from leanne the blue torn page a while back it was like a cooking baking um bundle and there's so many awesome papers in there and recipe cards and stuff like that and i got that because i'm working on a recipe slash cooking journal that let me grab it look isn't it adorable so i have um, the cover done and let me open it up there's the inside I have the papers picked I just need to cut them obviously put them in and kind of kind of give it a little bit of decorating but oh isn't this adorable so cute I can't wait to get this one finished so I got all of that to work on that. And so <laughs> I dug through that, that pack I got from Leanne to use for this card. And so there was um, some baking pages. And so I used one as, you can kind of see the edge, it says sugar cookie. And then a card from, I can't, I think her name was Ella <laughs> for rhubarb pie and I am not a huge fan of rhubarb. Let me know if you are in the comments. It's just a little tart for me, but I've had it a couple times and it was all right. It's just nothing. It's just not something that I really like, you know, when I want to bake, it's not something I think about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm normally thinking about like a cake or peach pie. Peach pie is my favorite favorite and then blackberry pie i love peach pie first though anyway so i decided to use those for it and so with the pink and i pulled this little rose thing out and i put moments on it and i used some 
of the really light pink Nouveau drops. I'm telling you guys, I love these so, so much. So I use Nouveau Jewel Drop in, what color is this? Rose Water. It's so pretty. But I was kind of inspired to use pink with all of this too because I have this picture of my great grandmother and it's like copied off of the, like the original picture. And then I think my mom put it on this pink frame. And so I really liked having like the pink. And then obviously this is not her, but I thought it was just kind of cute. And so the little um, person came from this pack. It's the baseboards, it says baseboards dolls. So they're like chipboard. They're thick. I didn't realize that when I ordered these like way way back <laughs> I didn't I just didn't realize and so I don't think I had used one before at all and so I thought that might be kind of cute on the card to kind of give it a little bit of dimension too and I've been trying to think and remember to do that on some of these cards and kind of give things um, like different levels so like the moments I mounted on some cardboard and then she's at a higher level and then I also have the um, Nouveau drop so it kind of just gives it a little bit of um, like I said dimension and then like your eye kind of moves around the card a little bit. Anyway I don't know I just like it. I just I just love this card so much it reminds me of my great grandma and um Good memories of cooking and baking with my mom too. I love seeing your guys' cards that you have made. If you're not familiar, check out the Facebook group link down below or use the hashtag SweetBeeCardCollab on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. And some people are using the cards to do like memory keeping too as well. And I love hearing about some of the stories like that have inspired you for your cards. I think that is so cool. And so this was really, I think, the most personal one for me so far with kind of thinking about um, this picture that's, I need to clean the glass off and then kind of incorporating it into a card. And this lace that's on, um, on top, it's not lace, it's eyelet lace on top is from, um, that pack from Leanne as well. Check out her Etsy. I'll try to remember to link it down below because her bundles with theme stuff are just, oh, they're awesome. Totally worth it. It was so much fun to open it and go through everything. It was amazing. I don't know if she has another one of this left, but I think she had a sewing bundle. I saw a little while back, but check it out. I love everyone's cards. It's so much fun to see um, us draw these prompts and you guys make like the coolest things from them. It is, it's so awesome. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get off of here and I'll get to work on next week's card. But anyway, I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.